I like to just tell people that I create. I'm an artist, I do photography, I'm a graphic designer, I do marketing, I make kids, there's four of them. <laughs> my name is Sandra Escarino and this is my story. At my core I'm also kind of a people pleaser and so I was so concerned about making everybody else happy and creating beautiful things for them that I kind of forgot about myself. Um, and I struggled really hard with some pretty serious depression for a lot of years. Um, and that's when I found cycling <laughs> and started creating things for me. Um, it came to a really scary point. Um, and it kind of like woke my husband up to the fact where he was realizing when I say I'm fine, I'm not really fine. And there was a day where he took his bike and his helmet and loaded it up and put me in the car and said, hey, go do something for you. I lost 30 pounds, like almost overnight. And it's because instead of trying to change my body because I hated it, I went in it from a place of, sorry, <laughs> Um, gratitude and love and it made a big difference and you know even if you do all the right things with nutrition and exercise you still have those days where you just can't step out of it but they're farther apart <laughs> and then I had a miscarriage that I wasn't expecting because I was on birth control <laughs> um, so that um, it really hit me hard. And then I got pregnant again. And I had a six month old baby. <laughs> and I was on bed rest and everything just kind of was out of my hands. I felt like I had no control. And so that deep, deep, dark depression just sank back in. Then everything was just dark and pressing down. and. I was back to where I would just hold my sweet babies and just cry because I, I knew I wanted to enjoy them, but I couldn't. <laughs> um, and I tried new medicine and it would get better for a minute. And then it would get hard again. <laughs> and nobody tells you that what it's like because nobody wants to admit that they feel that way <laughs> you know and it got to a point where I just felt like I wasn't useful here anymore I felt like me being around was hurting my kids more than it was helping them and my relationship with my husband was basically non-existent and it was because of me, it was because I was so detached from everything. And him and I were just driving down the road together and we'd drop the kids off with my parents. And I jumped out of the car. Cause you know, you can put on the smiley face and you can fake it. That doesn't mean it's okay. <laughs> anyway, it was shortly after that <laughs> that he sent me out on the bike. With the experience that I've had with depression, I just, I know that there's not one right answer. Because, you know, what worked for me this one time, going to the gym and lifting weights and eating healthy. It didn't work for me the next time. And, <laughs> but you know, I finally found huge boosts of adrenaline. <laughs> that totally works for me now. <laughs> and so I go out and I do things that, you know, give me that huge adrenaline high. like. Fly down a mountain on a bike. 
um, jump on a cliff off some skis and, you know, and I just, for me, that's what works. And for somebody else, it's gonna be something different.